The year is beginning to wrap up, and typically around this time is when I start to work on my gigantic final top 10s, a big countdown of the best and the worst games that I think definitely deserve some acclaim. But right now, I've stumbled upon the fact that Battlefield 2042 is downright hated. In fact, this game is already one of the most low-rated games of all time when it comes to Steam reviews. So let's talk about this gigantic dumpster fire. What's up, gamers? Cast guy here, and what brought this to my attention is this article that a bunch of subscribers have been sending me, which is that Battlefield 2042 is on Steam's all time worst reviewed game list. Now, Part of the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I'm still fascinated by how unfinished Battlefield is. I've played it. This is not some conjecture. I'm not just talking about some random game I saw on the internet. I've played 22 hours of Battlefield, and the game is a freaking catastrophe. It is unpatched. The servers are broken. Most of the time you get this error message if you just try and actually play it. It is so obviously undercooked. And people are very, very annoyed about this. All right, so let's dig into this. The recently released Battlefield 2042 has already earned enough negative reviews to secure its placement on Steam's all-time worst games ever made. Excitement about the latest Battlefield entry seemed to be incredibly high early on, with many anticipating it over this year's Call of Duty installment. Now, that's going to be a separate video, but holy heck is Call of Duty Vanguard just such a separate, disgusting mess. But let's talk about this. So part of the reason that people are just understandably upset about Battlefield Fields 2042 being a broken mess is that in order to play it up until now, you had to pay $100. Technically, the game came out yesterday, but if you're somebody that decided to play the EA Pay Pro price or go through Origin or you buy the Gold or Ultimate editions of the game, you got the game on November 12th. So a lot of us have been playing the game for eight days and the game completely sucks. It's got stuff like it's got rubber bandings. You're constantly bouncing back and forth. The Xbox version constantly crashes. Faulty weapon unlocks. Like... It's insane to me how destroyed this game is. Now I want to pause this article for a second and show something to you guys that a lot of people have actually sent my direction, which is this. Somebody over on the Battlefield 2042 Reddit has compiled a list of every single missing feature from Battlefield 2042. Let this sink in. Now, this is over 100 different things that have been downgraded, removed, or are currently broken in the game itself. Now, this goes everything from, obviously, no single-player campaign, but also going all the way up to the fact that the class system sucks, there's less in-game assignments whenever you're trying to play the core features, there are less guns in the game itself, no manual leanings, you can't do the, like, corner peaks that you used to do, no high wall vaulting, it goes all the way up, less vehicles, no naval vehicles, which means that, you know, you can't do anything except drive the hovercraft on water. Like, this goes on and on and on. Score system, no squad wipe scoring, no player damage points, no vehicle damage points, no vehicle kill exists, no headshot bonuses, no long-range kill bonuses, no assist kill bonuses, no multi-kill bonuses. Look at this. It's insane to me that this game, oh my gosh, this goes on and on and on. It's like, even now, having known about this list, it is appalling to me how much is not in the game itself. Like, straight up, look at this. Lack of persistent servers means poor map rotation. I played for 10 hours and never saw the Kaleidoscope, Orbital, or Breakaway maps. Fewer game-based maps. Like, here's the thing. The game is obviously unfinished. I made a big video saying do not buy Battlefield 2042, and a small section of the internet got incredibly enraged. They thought that I was being overly harsh on the game itself, but part of this comes down to the fact that I'm a big supporter of review bombing, which sounds drastic, but it comes down to this. Electronic Arts actually understands that we are not happy. If you see the score right here, that this has 25,000 reviews and 75% are negative, 
I think that shows. I think that shows the fact that people are just very understandably upset. People want a better product. Review bombing is kind of fantastic because I feel like it sends a very clear message to two separate people at once. It manages to tell the developers that we need some extra polish to make the game actually playable. And additionally, it tells the investors, the businessmen, the dudes in suits who never actually pick up a controller that this is not worth selling. It manages to send that clear message that, hey, this is going to cost you money because your game obviously isn't done. Going back to that original article though, you see that it's talking about the fact that this is now technically one of the lowest reviewed games of all time. It's between some very weird projects like Space Base DF9, games you probably haven't heard of because they are just such broken messes. So personally, I decided to dig it up. These are technically considered to be the 10 worst games ever released on Steam, at least according to the number of reviews and the lowest score possible. So we have E Sports 2022, Flat Out 3, Uriel's Chasm, which sounds a little bit like a lady's clam. Anyways, Kinetic Void, Space Base, Identity, Gasp, Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and Godus. And here we are, number eight, Battlefield 2042, being the eighth worst lowered rated game of all time. Holy heck, how bad is your game if you're able to be crowned as one of the worst of all time within the first week of being released? Now, I've said before that I'm a big fan of review bombing, and part of it just comes down to the fact that I feel like it does tell people to do better. We've actually seen a game in the past that got review bombed, that got some fantastic updates. Chrono Trigger, when this came to the Steam version, was terrible. It was essentially the worst cell phone port just thrown onto computers and sold for an exorbitant price. But you know what? As a fan of this game, I've bought every single style of version of Chrono Trigger, and over time, the developers listened. Over time, the developers did actually fix that, and now the Steam version is surprisingly decent. Now I want to end this video by just trying to address something that I'm sure is going to be in the comment section, which is people saying that I'm being too rude to Battlefield 2042, or some people saying that I'm being too harsh. Here's my thoughts. Battlefield 2042 is going to be great in like six months. The developers are not going to abandon this project. Like straight up, this has too many billions of dollars invested in it. EA is not the type of people that typically drop games and run. Electronic Arts is definitely going to pump the time, the infrastructure, and the patches into improving this experience. I have no doubts that next year, Battlefield 2042, when it goes on sale, is going to be a very fun experience, especially co-op. The problem I have specifically is that so many of these companies now just expect that this should be allowed. They are allowed to just drop completely broken, completely unfinished games with a gigantic price tag on it, and we're just supposed to accept it. I am tired of this idea of dropping a game and just saying it'll be good down the road. It needs to be good at launch, okay? I don't care how much you manage to fix it. I don't care how good it is in the future. If your game starts off busted, it's not good. Somebody in the comment section a couple weeks ago drove me nuts. When I first dropped the Battlefield review, there was somebody that said, oh man, you're playing on console, that's the wrong version. Oh, you're not supposed to play it on PlayStation 5. You're not supposed to play it on Xbox Series X. If there are bad versions of the game, then it's a bad game. All right, well, these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts because holy heck has this been a complete catastrophe. I'm going to get ready to eat some pumpkin pie with some friends with a friend's Thanksgiving thing. I wish you guys the best. This next week, obviously, is Thanksgiving. There's probably going to be less videos because I'm hanging out with family and stuff, but I love you guys a bunch, and I hope you all enjoy your holidays. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.